हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द अनोदर वीडियो ऑफ द ऑप्थेलमोलॉजी सो टूडे इस टॉपिक इज रूट्स ऑफ ऑक्यूलर ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वेन एवर वी गेट इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द आई और वेन एवर वी गेट अ पैथोलॉजी ऑफ द आई वी आर गोइंग टू द डॉक्टर्स एंड डॉक्टर्स गिव अस सम मेडिकेशन इन द केस ऑफ द आई वी आर यूजिंग अ आई ड्रॉप्स आई ऑइंटमेंट एक्सेट्रा so we are giving it topically okay but what are the various routes by means for which we can give a uh, drug okay so there are various routes of ocular drug administration okay now as i have tell you that this is the outermost part this is all outer layer outer layer is divided into three parts this is the cornea this is the sclera this is the sclera this three uh, black line is sclera and the junction between the sclera and the cornea it is the limbus okay now we know that the sclera has a three layers outermost layer it is the ap sclera middle layer of the sclera is known as the sclera proper and the innermost layer of the sclera it is known as the lamina fusca now we know that above the ap sclera this green line you can see it is the tenon capsule and above the tenon capsule this is the conjunctiva layer this is the conjunctiva now if doctor gives you a injection of any drug beneath this sub subconjunctival root means beneath the conjunctiva it is known as subconjunctival root okay if the doctors give you injection beneath or below this tenon capsule this green line below the tenon capsule it is known as sub tenon it is known as a parabulbar root but what it is the nosic technique it is the parabulbar root okay if below the sub if below the conjunctiva it is sub conjunctival root if it is given below the tenon capsule it is known as parabulbar root i hope i am crystal clear here okay now one thing you always know that topical root this is the most commonly used root okay topical means directly given on the surface okay now we have such kind of two such kind of the medication we have a eye drops and eye ointment okay eye drops you know eye ointment also you know eye drop eye drops are administered at least 3 minutes before an eye ointment okay 3 minutes before eye ointment what what is the uh, i can say what is the advantage of eye ointment over eye drop the advantage is eye ointment provide more time of contact okay so it provide more time of contact now if the pathology is here means you know that this is the vitreous so if the pathology is here intravitreal we are going to give a injection or drug into intravitreous which is known as intravitreal root okay now think if there is a pathology of the anterior chamber or you can say anterior segment we are going to give a injection or a drug into this anterior chamber okay which is known as intracameral injection now we are going to give a local anesthesia or general anesthesia in some cases of the surgery or etc so if i give what if i give a injection around the bulb or behind the bulb okay first of all you should understand the basic anatomy of this peribulbar and retroverbal part so let's see the anatomy as you can see this is our eyeball this is a ring like structure which is known as the annulus of a zin this is our medial wall and this is our lateral wall okay so basically you are seeing this is whole the orbit okay now this is the medial wall this is the lateral wall and the angle between the medial wall and the lateral wall is about 45 degree you can say that this is a triangle this makes a triangle okay 
so this is apex and this is base now you can say that you can see this is the eyeball and you see some structures like these all are the attached muscle okay this is a superior rectus muscle all the recti muscle this is superior rectus muscle this is medial rectus muscle on the medial wall side this is the inferior rectus in the inferior side and this is the lateral rectus on the lateral wall side so you can see here this is the ring this is the annulus of a zin and these are recti muscle this makes a one space inside the inside this muscle there is one space which is just behind this eyeball so if we give injection in this space it is known as retro bulbar but if we give a injection around this it is known as the peribulbar root and we are using this peribulbar root for the local anesthesia so let's revise first from the first all the roots of ocular drug administration if the injection given below this conjunctiva it is known as subconjunctival root this is the first if the injection or drug is given below this tenons capsule it is known as parabulbar root or we are giving in a subtenons space if we give the drug topically on the surface it is known as topical okay we have eye drops and eye ointment if we are giving drug in the vitreous then it is known as intravitreal root if we are giving drug in the anterior chamber then it is known as the intracameral injection now we have other two we have seen peribulbar root and retrobulbar root which we are using for the local anesthesia so this is all you need to know about the roots of ocular drug administration i hope you like it and i hope i am crystal clear here thank you